Hey guys, it's JT here from Bulletproof for BJJ and I'm going to show you a really great way for you to prepare your fingers, wrists and forearms for doing some stand-up grappling. Whether you're doing judo or jiu-jitsu, you've got to make sure your grips are prepared. Also, this is a great way for you to get in tune with your body so that when you're grappling, you're less likely to get injured. So let's start with the basics. Level one, coming down. To stand on the mat here, I'm just going to start off with our basic forearm stretch through extension. Now from here, I'm stretching my fingers as wide as possible, about shoulder width apart, and from here, I'm putting the butt of my hand flat to the mat. Now, from this position, I'm pushing the pit of my elbow forward. I'm now leaning back as far as I can while pressing my palms into the mat, and then rocking forward, easing that. Easing back, keeping elbows locked out, pressing palms down. And as I do this, you wanna make sure you're breathing out to allow those muscles to relax. I'm gonna do 10 active reps there, and on my last rep, I'm gonna hold that for 10 seconds. Okay, level one. Now, for most of us out there who play a very grip-heavy game, your fingers will get sore and tight. And now, the thing that we neglect is actually stretching the connective tissues of our hands. So let me show you this. Great advice from my partner, Joey, was saying sometimes doing this with two hands is too much. And I agree with that. And for you out there, even though this looks simple, it's quite intense. So we're gonna get you to start with just one arm. We're gonna use our left arm for support and we're gonna start stretching with our right arm. Very similar position as before, guys, except now I'm transferring a bit of weight here. I'm now gonna unlock my elbow. I'm gonna to look to pick up the palm of my hand and keep my fingers planted. Ooh, it's tough. And then I'm gonna come back. Unlock the elbow leaning back, keeping fingers in contact, and I'm stretching up. I'm feeling that stretch all through my palm, all the way up through all my flexor muscles in my forearm. We're gonna look for you to get 10 repetitions, staying active, pressing down. This is quite intense, guys, so make sure you monitor how much pressure you put through there. Once you've done 10 on one side, do 10 on the other. Key detail with this one, making sure that you are fully externally rotated. If you're doing it like this, you're not gonna get much benefit. We wanna make sure your fingers are pointing all the way around and I'm stretching my fingers as wide as possible. Taking that little bit of weight out, so then as I lift off, I'm still pushing my fingers flat into the floor while trying to get as much range to pick my palm off as possible. Working through there, 10 repetitions on each side. Now, level three getting a little bit more advanced. For those of you out there who feel like you could get a little bit more, this is great to have once you've done both, kind of level one, level two, is our trapped fist press. Have a look. I'm gonna make a fist with my hand, but it's not too tight. Now from here, this is kind of the easier version. I'm gonna place my hand over to keep my hand in that fist position. So from here, my elbow is bent. I'm straightening my arm and turning the pit of my elbow forward. Now, for a lot of you out there, this is gonna be very intense to your extensor muscles. So all through here, you're really gonna feel it. The key is to make sure your hand doesn't open up. We wanna keep it there, holding firmly, pressing the back of our hand into the ground as we bring that elbow forward. Relaxing and exhaling as we come forward. Now, the key thing here is to also bring your shoulder over your hand. So this is level one. Now, let's look at the next stage in this is to, if that wasn't tough enough and you want the next level, you're gonna have your hand completely inwardly rotated. Same position. Now, I'm gonna extend and turn the pit of my elbow all the way forward. This is super intense. So don't put too much pressure down, but keep your hand closed and turning the pit of the elbow forward as your shoulder comes forward. Like I said before guys, we're looking for 10 reps on each side there. So, for those of you out there with sore tight fingers, sore wrists and sore elbows, this sequence of movements one, two and three is perfect to get you prepared for a really good session of randori or grappling.